I just gotta jimmy that door. <laughs> not now, not now. Not so hard. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was me when I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, Dee? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay? And if you come here... It, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work. Uh, by Iron Butte, he's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what, listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. Hi. But, you know what, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um... It's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where, and this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told them that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. <laughs> It's clear. Oh, 
Are you gonna come out and eat something? Dad, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. Warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me here. What's up with you? St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. Hey, now that's some hardware, huh? Just saying. Come on, this shit? This is some primo shit, let me tell you.
regret it burning a hole in your man purse or what? See you, Corporal. Was yesterday, I was at the dog park in the old mill district. Corporal, nice to see you. Hey, Sergeant. Still breathing, I see. Okay. Yeah, this German shepherd named Grizzly. Brought some bounties in? No. Corporal St. John, you take care now. What's going on? Hey. I couldn't he see you sick. A little hell broke loose. Maybe that five minutes, the dogs will all over each other. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? You're the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? Doesn't matter anymore. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Dark to many of you. Is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, sure yeah. cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed.